Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions from guys wanting to know if or how they can grow taller. And the good news is that you can for sure get taller. I've done it a few times with people, especially family members. However, the bad news is that what you'll discover today obviously won't work for everyone, especially if you're over the age of 25. By then, it's a little bit too late. But even if you're over 25 and you still want to get taller, keep watching because there are certain things that you can do that will still make an improvement at any age. Plus, at the end, I'll show you two simple ways that can make you instantly look two to three inches taller. Things that I've learned from some of my, you know, shorter friends. So the first question is, why are some people tall and some are short? So in my immediate family, my dad is six feet tall. My oldest brother, he's 5'11". My second oldest brother, he's only five foot eight, while I'm the youngest at six foot three, and my mom is only about five foot four. So in my immediate family, it kind of makes no sense. We're all over the place. So picking the right parents isn't always a guarantee unless both your parents are very tall or very short. But I've always been tall even before puberty, as you can see in these pictures. However, genetics will always play a primary role in everything as does your hormone levels. Of course, you can't change your genetics, but you can improve your hormones and lifestyle, which can turn certain genetic factors on or off. This would be considered epigenetics. Now, I don't wanna make things complicated or boring because there's lots of various hormones, you know, enzymes and peptides and so forth, which all play a role in height. However, the main hormones are thyroid, estrogen, and growth hormone and IGF. So let me get right to it. Why are you short? Now in boys, high estrogen levels accelerates the fusing of the bone and stops the growth plates from maturing. I'm sure you've heard, for example, short, fat, bald, and hairy to, to describe you know, certain guys. Well, the short and the fat part is from high estrogen. The bald and the hairy is from high DHT, dihydrotestosterone. And when both of these hormones are elevated, Ironically, the testosterone levels drop, so that's three negatives back to back. So the first goal you want is to have normal or low normal levels of estrogen, definitely not high levels. Secondly, you wanna have high growth hormone levels, which will cause your bones to continue to grow as long as the ends haven't fused, typically due to estrogen and of course, older age. And lastly, you want optimal thyroid levels because your thyroid gland controls many other hormones and conversions. Optimal thyroid levels will help more growth hormone to convert to the more powerful IGF, which stands for insulin-like growth factor. So to achieve this optimal hormonal range, we can use drugs. And you would do first a full hormone blood test to see where your levels are. Then you would take an estrogen or aromatase inhibitor to lower high estrogen levels but not an estrogen blocker. You don't wanna block estrogen, you wanna lower the levels to a normal but lower level. You also wanna take growth hormone at the same time, along with small amounts of T4 and T3 thyroid. This is how it would be done with drugs. You would need obviously a very, very smart, knowledgeable endocrinology doctor to assist you with all this. I know this formula works, I've seen it work a bunch of times, however, I wanna make something very clear. I am not telling you to do this at all, and certainly not on your own. I'm just letting you know what works and what has worked in the past using pharmaceutical drugs and working with a very smart doctor. Unfortunately, this method won't be utilized by 99% of people, so let's move on. Let's talk about how you can do it naturally. Now remember, you can't change your genetics, but the correct lifestyle will maximize or minimize your genetic potential. So the first thing you must do is get quality deep sleep every night. This is when the majority of your growth hormone is released. Most people, especially growing teenagers, just don't sleep enough. You must wake up on your own in the morning, not with an alarm clock, which means that you just haven't slept enough and you needed more sleep. Sleep also decreases stress hormones such as cortisol, which is a good thing, which is also important for growth, both muscle and bone growth. So go to bed early, around 9 to 9.30, and sleep till 6 a.m. or longer. You must get a solid 8 to 9 hours of deep sleep, especially when you're a teenager and you're still growing. Look at a baby. 
It's sleeping all the time. It's sleeping all day and it's growing the most. Now I'll do an entire video about getting deep optimal sleep because it's a super important topic for overall health. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you aren't already so you'll be notified when that sleep video is released soon. Okay, so let's next talk about food. On average, people are taller these days than they were you know, a few decades ago. One reason is because they're eating more food. Because being malnourished will for sure cause a decrease in growth. However, you must eat good, healthy foods and not eat bad foods. Because most people are eating just junk, right? Empty calories and thus, even though they're eating more food and more calories, they are not getting enough nutrients, which is slowing your growth. This means that you need to eat a good amount of high quality protein. Uh, the best would be grass fed beef and bison, pasture raised, you know, chicken and whole eggs and wild caught salmon and similar foods and fish. I would limit dairy because I don't like it. I think honestly milk is for babies and cow milk is for baby cows. Maybe small amounts of yogurt if you really want it. Also, make sure you stop eating that junk protein, you know, cold cuts or prepackaged foods and fast foods. They are horrible for your health and for your growth. Also, stay away from soy proteins because they do increase estrogen and decrease thyroid production, both which will prevent you from reaching your maximal height, as we just discussed. You can add some vegetable proteins as well, if you like, for additional protein. The next food topic is carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are very important, especially for growth, because they help increase insulin levels and blood sugar, and insulin is needed for growth. Insulin plus thyroid plus growth hormone equals maximum IGF levels, which causes the most growth. In fact, mother's milk is primarily sugar and fat. So again, carbs are very important. But you must eat healthy carbohydrates, such as vegetables, fruits, white rice, yams, and legumes, for example. Stay away from the soda. The packaged foods and the chips and the donuts and the sugars and the white bread, they have no nutritional value. Besides, having elevated high blood sugar and insulin levels will cause negative hormonal changes. You want healthy blood sugar levels, not low or high. And let's not forget about fats. They are super important. Fats help produce so many important hormones needed for growth. You know, muscle, your brain, and bones. Unfortunately, most people either don't have enough fats in their diet or they're eating just junky, unhealthy fats. Now, good fats are things like whole eggs, monounsaturated fats such as macadamia and olive oil, coconut and MCT oil is good, small amounts of grass-fed butter. Nuts are also good, especially walnuts and almonds, so are avocados, flax seeds, and also fish oils. Stay away from the seed or, you know, the so-called healthy vegetable fats such as canola or corn and sunflower, soybean, safflower, and similar oils. They cause inflammation, they're high on omega-6 fats, and they cause negative changes in your hormones. Please read the labels, all right? Eat as natural as possible. Eat healthy proteins, carbs, and fats. Also, you need to stay away from drugs, all right? Smoking and drinking and doing various drugs will not help you get taller and can decrease your maximum potential for your maximum height. I also suggest staying away from caffeine products such as you know energy drinks, coffee, soda, and so forth because stimulants like caffeine cause hormonal imbalances and stress out your nervous system. Not to mention, they disrupt the most valuable formula for growth, which is deep sleep. Also, I want you to exercise correctly. Exercise improves your hormones, which will help get you taller. And the less fat you are, the less estrogen your body produces, and thus the taller you can get. Now, do whatever you want when it comes to exercise. Swimming is really good because it's not doesn't compress anything. Lifting weights is fine too, especially if you do lots of pull-ups and body weight exercises. Go for higher reps, you know, at least 10 to 15. But stay away from exercises that can compress your spine, such as squats, and deadlifts, overhead presses, and shrugs. Also, I suggest you take some supplements. I suggest um, things, extra vitamins and minerals, uh, such as calcium, magnesium, zinc, a good B-complex formula. Vitamin C and D are also a great start. And finally, don't forget about posture, all right? Stand up straight, you know, chest out, shoulders back, and look straight. Don't look down and, you know, slumped forward, all right? Stand with confidence you'll for sure look at least a couple inches taller. You can also, if you want, put you know lifts inside your shoes 
and also wear boots or dress, you know, shoes, which have, you know, a little bit of heel. You know, the, the heel plus the lift inside the shoe will easily add two to three inches for you. Now, some people think, hey, that's cheating, right? Or you're just being deceptive. But, you know, women wear heels all the time and they look taller, right? So who cares if you do it as well? If it makes you feel better, then go for it. Lastly, stop comparing yourself to others. If you're not as tall as you'd like to be, you know, that's fine. There's nothing you can do about it. Instead, focus on all the great qualities that you have, as well as the things that you can improve, like staying in shape, having a great attitude, and being successful in something that you really care about. Listen, life isn't always fair. We all have things that we like and dislike about ourselves. If you can make improvements, go for it. But if you can't, then stop wasting valuable time and energy on it. And below this video in the description area, I've got some important links that will help improve your hormones. Make sure you share the health and let other people know about this video and today's topic so they can benefit as well. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.